What's up, comic book fans? Kevin Hellions here once again with another comic book review for you. If you want to read more comic book reviews, wrestling stuff, book reviews, MMA, movies, funny videos, commentary on freaking everything in the overall geek world, please go over to TeamHellions.com. If you want me to review your comic book, send an email over to TeamHellions at gmail.com and we can figure out uh, whether to do it digitally or physically through the mail and then I'll review your book. Awesome. Cool. Up today we have Dark Hawk number 28. Fucking Dark Hawk. Oh, the 90s are back this week here at Team Aliens. So, what happens in this book today? Well, let me tell you. Uh, Dark Hawk and the New Warriors fight. Um, wow, what the hell is the guy's name? Zarko. Zarko, Timekeeper, or something like that. A uh, uh, CD list Marvel villain that travels through time and causes high chains and chaos. So. Zarko gets Darkhawk and the New Warriors to do this mission for him, and they're... Oh, that's weird. So they go to this place called Chronopolis, which is pretty much like a New York City, but each borough, each, each subsection, each little community is a different point in time. And there's a huge spire in the middle that they're all trying to reach, and the heroes adventures in Chronopolis is creating some sort of time disturbance energy which Zarko is going to use to power up this weapon and then he will become the master of all time. Your usual thing that a villain does on Saturday night. So it's average. It's average. Now it might be because I, I love New War the New Warriors and I was a pretty average fan of Darkhawk, even though I don't remember a whole lot about the adventures in the history of Eric Powell, but I know what for damn sure I bought like the first 50 issues or so. Um, not bad overall. It's a cute little adventure. Um, if you were a new reader, what would you think? You wouldn't know who the hell Darkhawk is. You'd get some semblance of his powers, but not a whole lot. You wouldn't know... Uh, you get a little bit of family stuff. You won't have a clue about New Warriors, which, by the way, you have the New Warriors. You have guest stars in this book. Why are they not on the cover? Not even, like, a little blurb, a little corner thing. Like, and the New Warriors. If you're going to have guest stars in the comic, I feel you should have the guest stars on the cover, unless it's a big spoiler tease at then. But it, it isn't. They're in there from, you know, the get-go. Um, You don't really get sense of you, know, you don't get a history for the characters, but you get a good idea of who the characters are. And they'll explain things. Silhouette and New Warrior is not a very popular mainstream character, but she'll be like, I'm going to use this power and this power, and I'm going to do this. So you get some exposition. It's not too bad. Uh, it's it's fun. It's a throwaway read. What is it? Probably 25. Oh my god, I feel old. 93. I don't even remember them being $1.25. Uh, I remember 75 cents. I remember a dollar, then I remember dollar fifty, and then it just fucking kept going up. But anyways, it's fun. You know, if you were if you were reading Dark Hawk, it's a fun little extra issue. If this was the first one you'd pick up, you'd be like, I'm curious, and there's a lot going on, there's a lot of characters, and you know, you'd probably want to know more and buy more. And it's fairly well written too. It's not perfect. I'm not saying that it is, but you know, it's fairly well written. There's a lot going on. Very bit of a, a heavy-handed thing here on uh, Atomic Weaponry, though. That was a little odd. But other than that, I mean, it's a fun book. I give it, they know, it's a solid B. Definitely worth picking up other issues for. And not something to be embarrassed about in your collection. Very fun. So this has been Most Fun Comics. Kevin Hellions here. TeamHellions.com. Yours.